For the 2016-2017 school year, the students at Richwood Middle and High School attended classes at temporary locations. Richwood High spent the year at former Beaver Elementary School in Craigsville, located almost 30 minutes from the high school. Recent graduate Kendra Amick says it was disheartening to learn she wouldn't be in her old building for her senior year. It was hard. I mean, when they told me over the summer that the school was flooded and that we weren't going to be going back there, it was really heartbreaking, and I don't think any of us really believed it. But um, being thrown in breathe fever was kind of rough. The teachers made sure that it was more like a home environment, but I know all of us would just much rather be back up at Richwood and where we all belong. Despite the change of location, Amick remained committed to her high school band, also known as the Lumberjack Express. Throughout the year, the band had to scavenge for places to practice. But when it came time for the annual festivals and parades, there was no doubt the community could rely on the Lumberjack Express to show up. During this year's spring concert, Amick performed in the marching band for the last time. Well, the community of Richwood really loves the band. Um, that's one of the cornerstones of our town, is seeing us march down every fall in orange, and we always have an annual Christmas concert, as well as a spring concert. So to get the community back together, rain or shine today, it's really nice to see everyone come out, get to hear the band, and have a little bit of hope. The Lumberjack Express is a staple of the town, says Richwood Middle School Principal Gene Collins. It's not just the high school's band, it is the community's band. Collins says the Lumberjack Express played a big role in helping students and the community to cope with the change. While traditions had to be compromised and the stability of the community was disrupted, the Lumberjack Express provided a familiar tone that helped the town hold on to its identity and perhaps hold on to the spirit of Richwood. Everything we do, we have a huge turnout. We have so much support. People are trying to make sure that we survive. Uh, and let's face it, in the mountains, that's what everything is about. It is about survival. They want the best for their kids, but we're also fighting for our culture to survive. For Inside Appalachia, I'm Liz McCormick. You can hear this story and more on the Inside Appalachia podcast. It's available on wvpublic.org or wherever you get your podcasts. That's Inside Appalachia. Get the podcast and you can listen on your own time.